Hey, what's going on there, everyone? It is Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, Tuesday evening, June 2nd, 2020, about 7 p.m., about five minutes till, that is, West Coast time. And uh, we did start a new Earthquake live 3D stream here. Been streaming up here for quite a few months, but decided to reset it. Had some internet issues earlier. I uh, went ahead and, uh, like I said, fired up a new stream so if you have a uh, if you uh, have the old link to this live stream you might want to change that up and update it to the new stream here um, gonna do a quick video update here on the earthquake activity globally looking at the West Coast still looking pretty active folks no major earthquake activity here to report some in-depth earthquakes to look at here in just a second uh, taking a look at the Pacific Ring of Fire out here shows relatively average conditions here through Japan. Quite a few fours uh, increasing out there along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Also down here through Fiji Islands there showing some fours and a lower 5.1 there. Also a deep 4.3 earthquake there striking, um, let's see how deep that is, About roughly about 500 kilometers below the surface there which is a uh, very typical very very typical of earthquake activity out there in the fiji islands region uh, looking at the rest of the globe there shows average earthquake activity uh, still seeing some activity out there in the atlantic or at least close to the southern atlantic region getting down there into the arctic with a 5.0 well south of the south american tip southeast that is and north of antarctica but other than that, we're looking pretty uh, average when it comes to earthquake activity globally. <coughs> Excuse me. Taking a look at the earthquake activity here. Uh, let's go ahead and transform this to fit to screen here. <coughs> and of course, a coughing fit would come up, right? Why wouldn't it? This is the one day magnitude 2.5 and above here. Not a whole lot to report out here, folks. Some er interesting earthquake activity out here in southern Idaho, uh, kind of close to the Wyoming border. Just a little, little bit of a shaker. 3.1 near Auburn, Wyoming. Well outside of the current earthquake activity there in uh, central Idaho, which uh, is seen kind of a still pretty much an average uh, aftershock activity there. Yellowstone National Park not showing any earthquake activity folks. I'm gonna bring up that uh, That scale right now and put an end to the fear-mongering out there on the uh, social media page <coughs> oh, Man, I'll tell you what When it comes it comes here's the latest updated Seismograph view right these are Yellowstone seismograph stations uh, we're looking at uh, the northwest corner of the park there showing very, very minimal earthquake activity, if any, in Yellowstone National Park. I've seen quite a few Facebook postings about Yellowstone having some earthquakes and, uh, and, and about ready to blow. You know, Yellowstone is not about ready to blow, so to speak, okay? Um, all that information out there is part of the 2020 fear-mongering uh, episodes here along with many other things besides Yellowstones Yellowstone stuff so uh, I don't see any type of earthquake activity out here folks they may be talking about the earthquake activity that happened over a week ago but that has since died down but you see how social media plays the fear, fear mongering uh, the fear mongering card if you will and that's, uh, that's not accepted here on this channel. And we are out here to prove those uh, stations, those channels false. We only provide facts here on the channel. And obviously, a seismograph station is going to provide you nothing but 100% factual information here. So where you get your information at, uh, be very cautious out there, folks. Because uh, it's... Uh, it's 2020 and a lot of people out there are looking to create some major drama out here in the world. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here to SoCal out here in the west coast. We're looking at some little bit of earthquake activity out here along the creeping section. That good old creeper section out here. 
along the San Andreas Fault, a major plate boundary between the North American and, of course, the Pacific Plate there. South of San Francisco, see a couple earthquakes there. A, what do we got here, 3.1 and also a 2.5 further up north. Nothing major. This is pretty much expected and obviously um, average when it comes to uh, activity out here along this creeping section. Other than that, we're not looking at any other activity out here along the San Andreas Fault. Southern California, pretty quiet out here as well. A little 2. Point, what do we got here? 2.9 out here along the southern part of the San Andreas Fault section here into the Brawley Seismic Zone, but uh, still kind of monitoring that activity out there in the Salton Sea region, but uh, no swarming or anything like that to address onto the channel here. Nevada still looking pretty active out there, although, well, we are at 2.5 and above. I guess we can go ahead and bring this down to all magnitudes here so we can see a little bit further increase. We're looking at, uh, well, let's zoom in here a little bit closer to the area. 231 earthquakes here in the Nevada region still rocking and rolling out there. You know, who needs Las Vegas when you have Mina, Nevada, right? Mina, Nevada is where it's at. All the rocking and rolling out there. Of course, we're looking at all the mining areas. Mina, mining areas where the uh, ancient, ancients, <laughs> not ancient people, but the 1800 folks out there digging some deep holes in the earth right there throughout that area, uh, creating some weak spots, weak points out there in the earth, if you will, uh, for the pressure to collapse in on itself and, uh, of course, create earthquakes, right? Similar to what you see in the uh, Midwest or Southern Plains area with the... Uh, fracking and whatnot in Oklahoma and Kansas region, Texas area. We get this all the time. You make a, uh, if you uh, withdraw a substance from the earth, right? And um, mess up that uh, chemical balance there, put water back in it or not put anything, it creates a weak spot in the earth crust there to where uh, it will ultimately collapse in on itself when it comes to pressure um, no matter where it's at here on the earth whether it's right along the plate boundary or inland and uh, obvious obviously that's kind of what we're seeing out here in Nevada I think anyway inner uh, inner mountain west region is very seismically active to begin with uh, but when you throw in the mining activities over the past you know century or so in Nevada which there is a lot uh, we're talking about a lot of weak points out there in the surface, and that's uh, I think that's what we're seeing out there right now. Other than that, folks, activity out there looking pretty minimal. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Okay, we're approaching, we are approaching 20,000 subscribers. I mean, that is pretty impressive, folks. I do want to give a big shout out. Uh, to everyone out there subscribing to this channel. I mean, we've made a tremendous product, uh, tremendous uh, path in life. I mean, we're looking at, uh, like I said, 20,000, okay, 20,000 subscribers. So roughly around, roughly around this time last year, we were probably at about eight or 9,000. So we have doubled our subscriber um list here on this channel so i appreciate every single one of you guys for sus subscribing to this channel and uh i hope you guys continue to watch the videos out here where i uh provide nothing but factual information out here we're looking at uh nothing but facts here on this channel and pretty soon we are looking at a potential to go out here and chase a hurricane uh really soon that's up on my list folks so uh, we will be announcing the uh, we'll kind of be announcing the uh, adventure here pretty soon. Kind of make a formal statement on it. I don't know if I'm going to chase that uh, tropical storm that is forming there in the Gulf, or if I'm going to wait until something further. But uh, it's definitely a possibility, and it's coming up really soon. And we will be live streaming that hurricane 
um, adventure when it does happen. So just an FYI, a little sneak peek into the channel um, future here. So anyway, folks, please have a good night out there. Um, stay safe and we will chat at you guys a little bit later. Like I said, this is a new live stream, a new live updated uh, URL. So if you have shared this video before with your friends in the past, uh, make sure you share the new updated URL, this new live stream with your friends uh, today or tonight. That way they can be uh, watching the uh, most current information when it comes to earthquake updated data here on the channel. So please uh, have, a good, have a good night, folks, and uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.